This is my daughter, Brenda. We're grateful to see you here. I'm going to make this as brief as possible. Lucas Santino has turned this island into our own private piece of hell. He was a member of Brenda's research team when the medical benefits of the fallow sap were discovered. It was a breakthrough that held hope for thousands of sick children. But it presented the need for new research. The trees can only be found on this island. And to the best of our knowledge, they do not reproduce. Presently, there is not enough to supply everyone who needs the medicine. Unfortunately, we can supply very few. Brenda was focusing her research on determining a method of reproduction. But four months ago, an extensive fire burned her research facilities to the ground. All of my scientific journals and data were destroyed. I felt I was close, but without them, I was forced to start over. When we rebuilt, Lucas persuaded me that he should have his own facility on the other side of the island. He convinced my father that two independent research centers would have a better chance at reproducing the trees. I did it against my daughter's better judgment. It was a grave mistake. Within weeks, Santino had his own people on the island. Some of our employees were forcibly prevented from harvesting the fallow sap. Others have turned up dead. Now Santino has us pinned, and nobody can leave the compound. We must have access to the trees. Yes, we must return to business as usual. We need you to contact the same organization you spoke of. You must decide our course of action and see to it that as many trees as possible are harvested until we regain control of this island. We'll pay you some of the money you'll need up front, and the rest daily, based on the amount of sap the workers are able to harvest and process. It won't be easy. The island heat is brutal, and Lucas Santino is a very determined man. I have bad news, Dr. Santino. A helicopter has landed in the Richards compound. How many men? One. You are sure of this? Yeah. Should we kill him? No. Find out who he is. Then, kill him. Give me some time to evaluate. You probably don't deserve me, but I'll join. Later on, maybe. I don't know much about you, or this Medivere Island. Let's see... Later on, maybe. I don't know much about you, or this Medivere Island. Let's see how you make out down there. No cops, no courts, no jails, no law. Yeah, you can count me in. Yeah, I could get into some of that. You just bought yourself one motivated mercenary.
Metavirian madness! Count me in! Hey, I'll go! Do you think I should get any special shots? What about those tropical malaria beetles? You see, me very good doctor. Yes, I want this very much. We suffered a serious setback. Sometime this morning someone managed to get into the processing plant and steal an essential piece of equipment. Without the micropurifier, we're shut down. We have to get it back as soon as possible. Until then, there's no point in tapping any trees. Roger. 
Roger. Roger. Roger. Roger. Roger. Roger. Roger. Roger. Nothing. Roger. 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 Nothing. Nothing. Roger. Roger. I see something here. Roger. I see something here. Roger. I see something here. Roger. Roger. A six bullet box. A toolbox in good condition. Roger. Roger. Yes, sir. A thirty eight revolver in perfect condition. Sure. Three boxes.
38 brother. Three. A six bullet. Something useful here. Sure, there's something useful here. Sure, sure. An assault vest with four pockets. Sure. A knife. Something useful here. Sure. A crowbar. Sure.
Bereit! Bereit! Yes. Roger. 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 Yeah. Right. 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 Yes, sir. Sure. Sure. 